This server claims to be all maps, and my gun is camouflaged. I just tried to disable that, but it didn't work. Oh well, this server claims to be all maps, and is currently playing Marcas Monolith. 64 player, 800 tickets, so why not? I'm playing Engineer, this is the ACWR. I did intentionally put the camouflage on it in the battle log, in case I had ended up on the American side. Because the American, I don't know what, I don't know, remember which it is, I think it's the American Premium 2 camo? that matches this particular gun. Uh, or this particular camo that this gun has now, right now. It also has another camouflage that I haven't unlocked yet, but that's irrelevant. Unfortunately, I'm playing Russian, so that's not gonna matter. I'm using the 1911 for all my classes except the recon, which is stuck with the Glock 18 suppressed. Although my sidearms are always suppressed. And I am trying to look for a way to use these. I have not gotten a single mine kill in this entire game before, because I've pretty much never used them. It is time to try to change that. The difficulty with this is that it means I have to figure out where the enemy tanks and cars and stuff are going to come from, and I frankly don't know. I suck at everything that has to do with vehicles, whether it's fighting against them, or trapping them, or trying to support them, or driving them. I suck at everything with vehicles. And I can't figure it out why, because as far as I remember, maybe it's just my uh, rose tinted glasses. But I think I was better at it in 2042, and I don't know why. I don't know why that is. By the way, that's not an IFV, is it? Because if it is, I want a ride. Yeah, this is an IFV. It's because I am super duper close to getting an unlock for the IV. We just need to pretty much do anything and I should have it. Come on, do something. Do something while I mean you. Like anything. No? Uh, this is a great start to a video. This is an IFV. It almost looks like a tank destroyer, but tank destroyers don't exist in Aftermath. They're a normal kill thing. And yeah, I heard it firing before. It's got a ka-chung, ka-chung, ka-chung fire rate. So yes, that's an IFV thing. It just looks weird. Hello, helicopter. I keep saying that. Come on, I just want anything. Like, seriously, if we get, like, anything done in this vehicle, I'm gonna get an unlock for it. So please, do anything. Oh, I saw an enemy. I said enemies. Hold on, they're right here. No, not there. Over. Oh, hold on. Here, okay. Where are they? Ah, oh, no, don't pick up. Drive forward. Damn it. Come on. Ah, squad spawn, that's a couple of points. A little bit more of that. And that should count toward my IV experience, right? That's how it works, isn't it? Another 10, that's not a lot. Where'd that guy go? Where'd he go? He's around here somewhere. Holy crap, this IV is full. How often does that happen? Also, why? Oh no. 20 experience. Yes, come on, let's grab that flag. There we go, that's what I wanted. I'm up. Oh, that's right, I don't have the repair torch. Because <sighs> when you use mines, they replace the repair torch instead of the other thing. I admit it would be pretty silly if you had to give up the rocket launcher in order to have mines. That wouldn't make any sense at all. So it's basically the difference between 
defensive and offensive, or... Well, not really. I would class the repair tool as a defensive thing. The torch, they call it in this game. There's definitely another game I've played recently that has a repair tool. Oh, it's tribes, isn't it? Huh. Oh, that exploded. That was not me. <sighs> that recoil. Here's the... Uh, that's a tank. That's a freaking tank over there. Wait, 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 wait. I have a javelin. Ah, damn it. I'm not sure how to use anti-tank mines. I read tips on them, sort of by accident. Actually, I think I was looking at tips for how to get a bunch of assignments, and one of them was a newbie guide for mines for people who haven't used them before and want the assignment for getting mine kills. It, they say things like, don't put them in clusters and crap like that, but I don't freaking know. Or don't put them in a line, maybe, what's the word? I, I don't know. I don't know how to use them. I do remember how to use them in 2142, but that doesn't apply. Never does. Well, I've put some mines out over there now. How many mines do you have? Six? Is this six? So here's the dilemma with the ACWR. Gimme. No, okay, he's dead. The AC oh, here's mines. Don't don't go any for don't go any further. Don't go any further. Don't go any further. Don't go damn it. I'm going to pick them up. Didn't work. Oh no, they're gone anyway, so what the hell does it matter? TCC Wallace. At a glance, I read that name as Trollface. And I'm slightly embarrassed by it. Anyway. The ACWR does less damage per bullet than pretty much all of the other engineer weapons. Could actually be all of the other ones, I don't remember. But I don't want to make broad statements like that, because I don't remember specifics about this game. No, that's not what I want at all. I was trying to spot game. Anyway. ACWR. Less damage than other... Don't kill me! If you kill me... Or do the mines stay, or do they go away? I know claymores go away if you get killed. But they're still there now. Maybe they don't. Maybe anti-tank mines don't. But they got blown up by the tank. ACWR. Can I keep talking about this gun now? Does less damage than the other engineer weapons per bullet. It has a fairly high fire rate. It's very easy to control. But it also has a very small magazine. So it's like downside after downside. Weird thing about it... Is that despite having very bad damage per shot. It also has virtually no bullet... Uh, it doesn't have no bullet drop, but it doesn't... The damage fall off is ne 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 negligible. Negligible. Negl it, ne it doesn't matter. It has very little damage fall off. Oh, hello! There's a vehicle! So the weird thing is, I think it's at around 40 meters or so. You know, m most of the weapons are the same type. Most LMGs, most assault rifles, most engineer weapons, they have the same damage curve. They do the same max damage, they do the same minimum damage, and most of them have identical damage fall-off curves. So it's like, you know, after 10 meters it starts dropping off, and at, at 40 meters, 60 meters or whatever, it's at the minimum damage. Almost all of them have the exact same damage curves. But this one has very poor damage, and an insane fall-off curve that basically does something like it doesn't really fall off a lot. Because a regular, regular, regular engineer weapon starts at like, I think it's 25 damage per shot up close. And it falls off to something like 10 damage. Or something along those lines. I'm just generalizing. I'm getting it wrong. But, you know, just to, 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 to give an example of what I'm talking about. This weapon... On the other hand, the ACWR. Hold on, hold on. I see a guy causing trouble back there as well. Cool. I need carbine ribbons for an assignment. Um, it starts at very low damage, but it does, virtually doesn't drop off at all. 
So after about, uh, I don't remember what it is, it's 30, 40 meters or so. When all the other guns are down to like 10 damage per shot. This guy stays at like 14 or something weird like that. So it's much weaker up close and much stronger at range. Which I believe is actually kind of a similar fall off curve to what the ES Val has, but I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me on any of this. Don't quote me on this because I'm not level cap. I'm not in the works. I'm not a person who remembers specifics about this game and can recite them with uh, great accuracy. This is not me. I'm a casual player who takes things what I hear and doesn't grammar very well. And misquotes. That's, that's what I do. But I do know for a fact that this gun is horribly, terribly underpowered up close. But because it does virtually doesn't have any damage fall off, it's much better than the others at range. Except for the Scar H. The Scar H is the strongest carbine. Carbines being the catch, the overall... Well, the umbrella term is what I'm looking for. For engineer weapons. As far as this game is concerned, even though it's not true, all engineer weapons are carbines. All assault weapons are assault rifles. All support weapons are light machine guns, and all sniper weapons are, well, sniper rifles. That's obviously not true. Not it's not true for real life. The ACW is probably an assault rifle in real life. And you know, the uh, M4 17 is probably yeah. I don't know. You get my point, though. It's not its not exactly accurate. Oh. I'm not sure what's going on back here. I'm definitely not sure what's going on back here. Where'd he land? Oh, there's a little alcove up here that you can be on. I didn't know that. I, I don't think I've ever been up here. If you look at the minimap, it's like, it's just this little cutout. It's here specifically for you to be able to go up to here. Even though there's no way you can go from here. I wonder why that is. And what just happened? Don't have a shot. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing? Yeah. The ACWR is a weird weapon because of this. It is terrible, close, it is good at range, it's quite controllable, but also has a really small magazine. It's just, it's got quirks. Uh, is there a spawn beacon on top of this building? Yeah, yeah, there is. Okay, I need to figure out where to put these, uh, these mines. We're very close to the American deployment. So putting them... Like on this wall, uh, road here, it's, uh, would be an okay thing to do. Oh, hey, there's friendlies up here. Where'd you come from? Oh, so he's, you spawned on me. Okay. Well, at least I'm working toward the ACWR assignment, even if I'm not getting. Ugh, damn it. Getting mine kills. Like, I can imagine this being an okay place to put them. Yes, yes, keep blazing, keep blazing, keep blazing. Keep at it, keep at it. Shots fired. That's not what I was wanting to say. Shots fired is something the police would say. Or some kind of special forces. Damn it, I, I clicked, but nothing happened, and then he was about to fire. What I was looking for is on the way, or similar. But that's what they see when they fight in tanks. And I'm not in a tank. Fox 1? I don't know, what, what what would be... Hey, if someone knows military stuff, if you were trying to tell your pals that you're just that you about to, or just did fire a anti-tank rocket, what is the word you would use? Because, you know, you have your fire in the holes and for explosives. When that gun flies away from me, for some reason, in my mind, it always looks like a pair of glasses. I can't explain to you why that is, but that's that's what I see every time. And it's it's starting to confuse me. What am I doing? What what did I just do? Yeah, this tactical camouflage is the American Premium 2, I think it is. If you're interested in that. I 
could technically throw a laser sight on this, but I'm choosing not to do it because I want to discourage myself from using this gun up close. Putting a laser sight on it, you, you know, increases sip fire accuracy. I don't want that. I don't want to give myself a reason to use this up close because it's a it's a horrible weapon up close. Sorry, guy. I know how good gunners are. For these weapons, uh, vehicles, but I have things to do, and I'm dead. I'm so dead. Guys, how am I supposed to get 25 kills with anti-tank mines? How am I supposed to do that? I don't even know where to put them in order to make something drive into them. Even if I did, you know, people are attentive. They, they spot them and they destroy them and stuff. How many mines can you place? One, two, three, four, five, six. You, you have six. Seriously, six. Probably more than usual on me because I have the... Uh, the uh, explosions squad specialization. Specialization. Which I believe should affect how many mines you can carry. But I'm surprised that it lets you place them all out without removing the bullets. Because with the claymores, you can only have two out. If you have more than two, you place one and the old one disappears. I got hit marker. I'm not entirely sure what that. Oh, he's over there. You seen the building? No, oh, he's on top of that building. Oh, he's the guy who put the squad beacon up there. Well then, you know what I'm gonna do about that? I'm gonna use my JNG90 for the first time. Yay! I unlocked this just last round, and I've never used it before. He's over there. No. This thing only has a 7x scope, which, hello, <laughs> which is weird. I almost put the iron sights on it, but I decided that, you know, it, I'm not going to just use a bolt action sniper with a... I, I feel like I've gotten better at medium range engagements in this game than I was when I started playing. Because when I started playing, I pretty much used the iron sights until I can get uh, a high... Hey, I got a kill! I, I got a kill with... Wait a minute! I'm playing Recon, and I got a kill with my mines. So this game does the thing where if you place down mines and then you switch class, your mines are still there until they get blown up or until you place new ones. I had no idea that was the case. That means that plan I had of placing down mines and then shooting at them with a sniper rifle to make them go off could actually work. Because I could theoretically switch switch classes. That, oh, this gun sounds weird. That's a strange noise. Oh, I see someone. That guy down there. He's got a rocket launcher. Where is he? Where is he? If only I had the soul flam, that could also potentially help. But I have this friggin' tugs because the JNG9 the assignment also involves getting tugs assists. I do not foresee myself playing like this on this map. Seriously, where was the guy that shot me and killed me? With his sniper rifle. I was in this building, wasn't I? Or was it that build? No, it's this building. Well, there's still a sniper somewhere here. I can tell that much. Shit, he sees me. I'm not sure what to do about this. Okay. Sniper duel. With any luck, he's, be, he's uh, distracted by something else now, so I can get a chance to... Okay, he saw this guy that was here and killed him. 
I want to believe he's on that building, but that might not be true. Is he? Because he could be over here. He could be back there somewhere. This is scary. That was probably an enemy that fired just now. Yep, there he is. I think the enemy sniper might be dead. Whew. Duly noted. What does duly mean? I actually don't know. There he is. Yeah, I'm getting into the sniper mindset again now. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Enemy. Damn it. Darn it. Aha. Ah, ah, he's hurting. I saw an enemy shot. God, it is so freaking hard to see enemies on the aftermath map. There's so much debris and rubble and detail everywhere. I know that someone just shot at the guy, our friend, who's down there. Did I say shot? Shot. I saw the, the, the bullet fly by, the projectile tracer, but I don't know where it came from. I'm obeying my own advice to stay away from things like windows because they make you so very visible. This isn't technically a window, and I'm hardly concealed. But the same rule still applies. The same rule still applies. I just forgot about it. Oh jeez, the wall no longer exists. So the JNG90, if you don't know, is virtually identical to the L96, which I have a lot of experience with. So technically, or theoretically, I should do very well with it. People are going to vote for maps. Two of them are Marcus. Three of them are Marcus Malloy. Two of them are Conquest. Uh, I'm not a huge. Oh no! Wait. Uh, is it Squad Chat or is it Main Chat? I'll wait until the message shows up again before I try to vote. Because I don't want to type it in the wrong chat. Um, let's see. GNG90. Same stats as the L96. Uh, ooh, I don't remember what's different. I think it has slightly better fire rate. And I think there's something else as well. Gosh damn it, I missed it. It says the type slash number in some chat, but I don't know which chat. Oh wow. Counter sniping. I like how this gun sounds, it's a powerful sound. I don't like how it looks, because that's some weird kind of crackly looking camo right there. I'm switching to my sidearm because that doesn't cause scope glare. And that didn't really matter because he knew I was up there. Squad chat. Okay, squad. Slash. One. No one else is gonna want Alborz Mountains. I know it. I know it. <laughs> I wanted to be on the server to get. Well, frick, I could spawn as Engineer and then die and then respawn as Sniper. I, I just came to that conclusion a little while ago. I forgot already. Now which roof was that Sniper guy on? I thought it was on that one. But I think maybe not. He probably got shot and killed. I hope. You guys having fun? Holy crap, I hit him. Okay, tell me that was not an illusion. Tell me I, that was not a mirage. I'm pretty sure I got a hit marker. The first shot. That's pretty cool. I got a spot bonus at least, so maybe not. I don't know. Phew! All of the friendlies that were down there have been replaced by enemies. Is 
Something about the way I said that reminded me of the character Harold from the show Person of Interest, which I have been watching recently. Because they decided to air it on Swedish television, so I'm like, eh. Okay then. The concept looks neat enough. It's not a, it's not a great show, but it's intriguing enough and it's easy enough to watch. Nope. Most episodes I don't even pay attention to what's going on, I just put it on. When I start watching and then I listen to like half of the episode while I do other things. But it, it's got some fun action scenes and I think the the concept behind it is cool enough that I'm gonna keep watching it. It's a neat joke, but something about the way I just spoke reminded me of a character from it and that uh, makes me worried. Look at how much better this gun looks without camouflage, seriously. But it looks camouflaged anyway, because some of the guns do. The Scar L also seems to have sort of a a black grey tiger stripe camo by default which I don't mind but it's hard to find something that fits with it because whenever I have a camouflaged gun I want to have a U or you know a BDU that matches it and there is no black tiger stripe BDU so I end up going with a spec ops camo whenever I use the Scar L just because it's the only black one that was kind of painful for me. There's more enemies very close somewhere. See, theoretically, at a distance like this, if that was an engineer and he had like an M4 or uh, or a G36 or something, I would be out damaging him. Because his gun is stronger than mine up close, but at that distance his fall off would make it weaker than mine. But any closer than that, and he would be able to out damage me. It's what makes the ACWR a really weird gun. On the other hand, uh, someone, I don't remember who it was, so I apologize if it was you, but you're not watching this video in, which, in that case because you're busy making your own Battlefield 3 videos. Someone uh, came to the conclusion that if you want a suppressed engineer weapon, the ACWR is an excellent choice because what the suppressor does, aside from make your gun silent and make you not show up on the minimap, jeez, is uh, it causes the drop off to be more. How did I describe that? It makes the drop off ha happen over a shorter distance, so your minimum your minimum damage is the same it was as it was before. It just happens sooner. So instead of your minimum distance being at 60, your minimum damage occurring at like 60 meters, maybe it occurs at 40 meters or 30 meters or whatever. Reason the ACWR handles that well is obviously because it's minimum dis minimum damage. Oh my god, I can't talk. This gun's minimum damage is higher than the other engineer weapon's minimum damage. So, by throwing a suppressor on it, you're making it even weaker up close because the damage fall off happens sooner, but it's still better than most engineer weapons at higher ranges. It's definitely better than they would be if they put suppressors on them. So, you know, if you want a suppressed engineer weapon, consider the ACWR. Because of its unusual damage fall off. Oh, hello. Yep. Yes, shoot him, then walk through his still falling corpse. Do it. Next map, Tala Market. Ah, well. That's not gonna have much in the way of sniping or engineer gameplay for me. But it is a pretty fun map. Hmm. Maybe I could try some Iron Sights Recon sniping on that map. Or maybe I'll find another server to play on instead, I don't know. Well, I didn't really accomplish anything. Well, I have, 20 have I gotten 22 kills this round? Since when? I was gonna say, I haven't really accomplished anything, but I guess I have at least killed a bunch of people. I didn't realize. Oh well.
Let's see what that counts for as far as the ACWR and the GNG90 assignments go. I played Engineer. Yes, I did. I played Recon, indeed. I got an IFE unlock. Yay. Not something I'm ever going to use, but whatever. It's a thing. Two unlocks for the ACWR. Hmm. And some miscellaneous ribbons, as always. I wish the ribbons would tick up a little bit faster. Because this is kind of ridiculous. If you're actually interested in what you got and you don't want to bother with the... F whatever. Now for the important part. Hey, that's a pretty significant chunk. That isn't, but that is. Let's just have a look at that real quick, like. Yep, 